Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to my van build. Now, in the, this what, what I'm going to do this morning, uh, in the last episode we did obviously all the tiles and some painting um, of the cabinets that are going to go all around this unit. Um, what I'm going to start with today is, before I go to B&Q and choose the paint for the actual cabinets, is I have these old sort of strip lights that were in the old van, well, I, I fitted part of it to the old van but never actually ended up using them. Um, so I don't know if they've worked because they've been sat in a rusty van for sort of five years. But what I'm going to do is just quickly wire them in, check they work and then if they do, this set will be going sort of along the back here and then will be sort of hidden by a nice strip of wood to sort of glow up that wall and then I'll be doing the same along this length of the van. Um, so yeah, so I'm basically just going to check that they work. If they do work, I'm going to start wiring these in because these, all these wires here run to this second switch here. So yeah, that's what I'm going to start with this morning, but just need to check that they work first. So that is the first job, so please enjoy the video. And my offense, I call you up And on my senses, I want to feel your touch So when I feel Okay, so I've just <clears throat> wired them into one of these sort of like connector things. I'm just going to check they work. Just got to turn my electrics on. Should be on, yeah. Okay. Okay, no idea. Okay, so I just checked the cable that it was plugged into with the switches in this thing and it does it does work which means that, that what has broken is the lights not the actual switch and stuff so that's good news but yeah it just means that stuff which was pretty old anyway we're just going to have to replace so i'm going to do that now um and then i'm also now going to head to b and q and hopefully choose some paint and we can crack on with doing some painting <laughs> Okay, so back from B&Q, the colour I chose is this uh, Deep Space Echo. It's kind of like black, pretty much, with a hint of navy in. Um, so what I've got to do, though, is from the last video, when these were here, um, these are all primed, ready to go. I just need to sand them ever so slightly, um, and then we can put our first coat of our new paint on. I feel, I feel. Okay, so whilst those cupboards are uh, drying, what I'm going to start on now is doing the same tongue and groove that I've done over there on this piece of wood here. Okay, so the inside of the door is now all done. Now it's a little bit rough here as I push this bit of wood in the bit of tongue and groove snapped off there. So it's not the tidiest job, still needs a bit of a sand, but it works. Um, and then obviously what's going to happen with this piece is I'm going to basically put a window in here. Um, probably get someone to do that for me, one of the windows that slides open slightly. So that's my plan for that bit, so I'm not going to bother with this bit. Um, but yeah, pretty pleased with the result. I think what... My next job is I'm just waiting for the Amazon man to arrive, and once he does, he should have some strip lights um, or that actually work, so I can put those in there. But other than that, again, just carrying on sanding, painting, um, and hopefully getting this thing on the road as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm trying to go for. Just have these lights all along the side wall. Um, there will obviously be a set going uh, all the way along here as well, underneath that, and it'll be covered, so you won't be able to see that light. You'll just see the glow coming down, because there'll be a piece of wood here that blocks that off. Um, now, it's not done perfectly, to be honest. I've had to kind of thread it through off at the back up here. We can see um, this will obviously all be auto carpeted, so I won't really see that. But I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get it to wire back up here, at the back in there, because at the moment I'm just coming out of this hole, and I'd rather come out of something here. I might have to take this off, but I don't really know yet. So yeah, kind of just done it just to see what it would look like for now. But yeah, quite like it. Should be quite fun. Okay, so back working again on the van this weekend. Um, what I've started with this morning, um, got my sister to help me paint just this just because she had a spare minute um, and obviously started priming this uh, part, of, part of the piece of the bed obviously because all of it's going to be eventually painted and I've just been to B&Q and bought these sort of corner strip pieces and they're obviously going to cover um, these strip lights here so I'm just cutting them to size now and then going to stain them the same colour as this piece of wood that piece of wood so they'll sit in there in there and cover up these strip lights which I've now threaded properly through here, so they're going to be connected in here, tucked away up there. We're going to have a line there and a line along there. So we're going to crack on. Woke up mm, to a blurry face, to a hazy day to myself. So that is all I've got time for in this video guys, thank you so much for watching, it's been a pleasure to film and build. Uh, please join me in the next episode where we're hopefully going to be getting the kitchen unit fitted and also hopefully making some drawers. But that's it for this and I will see you next time. Yeah. Hello sunshine, are you close by, see you smile.